Welcome to part eight of my Unreal Engine tutorial series. In this episode, what we're going to be doing is focusing on how to create a master material and an instance of a material. This is very powerful. The bigger your scene gets, if you just have a few materials like I'm going to be showing in this tutorial, you're probably going to be like, you know, what's the point of doing this? But if you do have hundreds of materials that all have to be changed at the same time, this can be really powerful. I'm going to show you how to properly set up a master material and then how to create an instance material from it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. Let's launch the engine and get started. I'm going to go to games next. Now this one I am going to do first person with just because I like the layout of that level a bit better for what we're doing. We're going to go to next. We're going to go blueprint. Make sure that's selected. Tutorial eight master material. Let this load up. Okay. Now I am going to drop in some cubes here. So we'll just do this, drag this up a little bit. And what I'm doing here is once I placed one, you can hold alt and then move to move the object, but then create a copy in its place. So we can go like this. Oops. Right. I'll just kind of shape these up a little bit. Okay, great. I'm going to come down to my content browser here create material. I'm going to call this master red. So I'm going to go save. I'm going to go into the materials. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to add a vector parameter. And what this is going to do is this is going to let you choose the color, but it's not the same as holding four and clicking this in because this is a parameter and this is not. What a parameter is going to let us do is when we instance one of these materials, we are going to have the option of changing it and it's going to be able to be different from the master material while also still having the traits of the master material. So I'm going to plug this into the base color. I'm going to click on the parameter. I'm going to rename this color default value. I'm going to drag this all the way up on both sides so that it's red. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold S to create a scalar parameter, or you can right click and type in scalar. And you come in here, we're going to call this metallic, plug it in. I'm going to click here, copy this down. I'm going to plug this into specular. Let's just leave it at 0.5. Control V again, and I think I, I mentioned this in all the other tutorials, but if you haven't seen those, Control C will copy the node and Control V will paste it. So I'll delete this one, and then this one's going to go into roughness. So we're going to make this one specular and this one roughness. Now we don't need to do the map scale for this one because it's just a, a solid color, so there's no sense in doing that. Right, and now I can close this out. And I can drag this onto this block here. So one of them are set up. We're going to right click on this master material and we're going to go up to create material instance. I'm going to call this one inst blue. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to double tap and go in here. So what you're going to see in here is the material. But then on the right hand side here, you're going to see color, metallic, roughness and specular. So if I click color, we can now go in and actually make these changes. So if I just take this color, I can zip it over here. Now it's blue. So if I check this off, it's going to use the default red value. But if this is checked, it's going to use blue. So what this is saying is that the metallic is actually set to 0.5 right now, which I don't want. I want that to be zero. And let me just double check something. I may have actually done this incorrectly with the uh, Right, so that's actually supposed to be set to zero. So that was that was my mistake. I set it to 0.5, but should just be zero. So I'll go back in here. 
So if I turn this off, as you can see, now it's back set, it's set back to zero because those default values are always going to be what's in the master red material. For the roughness on this one, I'm going to make it zero. So it's going to be very glossy. And for the specular, that's fine. We'll leave it there. So we'll save that. Now I'm going to drag this instance blue onto this material. So as you can see, even though we're using the same master material, this is a completely different texture. So let's create a few more. Let's go create material instance. We'll call this inst yellow. I'll make inst green and inst purple. Okay. So I'm going to go into green, hit color, make that green. This one's going to be really rough. So we're going to set this to one exit out of that. Let's put it on this block for purple. I'm going to save, go in, check the color purple. Now this one, I'm actually going to make metallic and then the roughness we're going to set to point two. So we get this cool looking material. I'm going to drop that on there. And as you can see, because we have ray tracing on, or actually this isn't ray tracing, this is just screen space. But as you can see, there is a reflection from that. It's just the screen space is a bit of a weird reflection. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make this one yellow. Right there, metallic, make this one, roughness. Uh, let's set this to 0 0.8. So it is a it is a metal, but max, maybe we'll just leave it at 0.5. So it's still a rough metal, but you can tell it is a metal. And we'll drop that on here. So I think that that pretty much sums up what I want to show you for how this works. I guess there is one last thing I can show you, which would make a little more sense. So if I come in here and I hold S and I make a scalar parameter, let's just call this Greg. And then I'm going to go to the emissive color. So nothing is happening here, as you can see. If we hit save if we now go back into one of these instance materials there's now a greg parameter and if i actually come up here and type one then it's going to make it emissive even though that doesn't really make any sense for this one obviously because we don't want it to be that color but it's a pretty good point of how once you go in and add one of these parameters you can go into any of these instances now and you have an option here so let's say you were doing a huge scene with 50 materials that are all set up the exact same way all you would have to do is go in and actually just change that that one thing about each material and they're all set up in the next one i am going to show you how to do this with pbr materials but it's not going to be too difficult so i hope to see you in the next one and i hope you enjoyed the video